Hey, what's up and welcome to another exciting developer world tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at the live wallpaper feature that has been added to Sony's Theme Creator tool. We've divided this tutorial into three parts where we progressively will get more advanced and end up with an awesome theme which is free and available for download to all Xperia devices. In part one we will give you an introduction of the live wallpaper editor and begin to create our winter theme. You can download the project from the video description and follow along as we progress throughout the videos. We are currently looking at the finished wallpaper. It contains many different types of effects. We have a constant snowfall across the screen, auroras pulsing in and out, some chimney smoke, and we can click this house to make the light turn off. There is also an animated lock screen and a transition from the lock screen to the home screen. Let's start from the beginning. To enter the wallpaper editor, I click the pen next to system wallpaper. In the pop-up, I'll select create live wallpaper. In the top right, we have two tabs, background and foreground. Images added to the background tab will appear beneath everything else, just like a normal wallpaper. Images added to the foreground tab will appear on top of everything else. Beneath we have our list of layers, it is currently empty. Further down, we have controls for the preview itself. Finally, at the bottom, I have controls for moving, adding, duplicating and deleting layers. Let's add our first image. Click the plus button and then I'll use pick image. The initial image is a night sky. As I scroll back and forth, the image also moves back and forth according to where I am in the home screen. I can click the background layer to open up the properties for it. All layers have 5 properties you can modify. X moves it left to right. Y moves it up and down. Scale makes the image smaller and larger. Rotation rotates the image. Alpha can be used to make the image transparent and opaque. These are just the static values. I can also modify dynamic values. Here I can assign values that change based on the offset of the wallpaper. The offset means where I am in the home screen. By default the offset X is 1. This means that when I scroll back and forth the wallpaper will follow 1 to 1. All the other properties can also be modified based on offsets. So if I enter some random offset values you can see that the image starts moving in a unique pattern. Ok, let's reset the values. Right now I think the sky is moving a bit fast, I want it to feel like it's far away, so I'll reduce the offset x to 0.1. So let's add some more layers. First I'll add my moon layer. I want the moon to be higher up, so I'll change the y. I also want it to be slightly bigger, so I'll increase the scale. Next I'll add some houses. The houses should be at the bottom of the screen, so I'll move them down. I'll also apply an offset X effect to them, which is slightly faster than the background. From here on it's just a repetition of what I've done so far. Pick a file and then position and scale it as needed. First I added a forest with some fog in front and behind it. Then I added a couple of aurora layers with different offset x speeds. As you scroll back and forth you can see they move at different speeds which creates a depth effect. In this video we went through the basic functionalities of the editor. Then we added our first basic layers and applied some offset effects. In the next video we begin to work with the time of day function and we create some passively animated effects that will truly bring this wallpaper to life. Hope you've enjoyed, thanks for watching.